uh, every time that investors and the broader community writes off Bitcoin, it outperforms significantly. This has been the case in 2020 when it rallied uh, close to 1,000% this year. On top of that, it rallied another 63%. And I'm quite bullish on, uh, on Bitcoin. I think it's going to reach 100K this year, probably uh, by the, uh, the middle of it. And for two simple reasons, we see institutional adoptions persevere uh, quietly, companies building out uh, uh, their treasuries, uh, uh, filling it with Bitcoin, and also the broader team of macroeconomic uh, realities and cheap money, in my opinion, is here to stay, which is great for crypto, which is an inflation hedge and gold 2.0. Anthony, Anthony, that point of cheap money is here to stay. Maybe challenged with what the Fed is doing, no? Yeah, well, I'm a contrarian here. I quite frankly think that as soon as we see a rate hike, there's going to be a dip into equities and the bond market. And quite frankly, the last few years, we haven't seen much political will uh, to sustain any uh, and, you know, uh, uh, power through any sort of correction uh, in the traditional financial markets. So I think uh, people, uh, most people got it wrong here uh, in terms of rate hikes by the Fed. Okay. okay. Uh, I do want to get in a quick sense, uh, Anthony, on how you see uh, the evolution of cryptocurrencies. Uh, many are, you know, looking at the use case as a parallel currency, especially for, for countries that have a fractured central, uh, central banking systems or fractured financial systems. Uh, so El Salvador, for a case in point, who do you think is next here? Well, I think Latin America uh, is a poster child for what you just described, uh, you know, economies uh, with some difficulties of managing their own currencies and their respective central banks facing some challenges. Um, uh, so definitely uh, all, all, all of them are potential candidates of adopting cryptocurrencies as legal tender. And it's an amazing how far crypto and Bitcoin in particular has come in just uh, some 10, uh, 13 short years. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, this is both a store of value and a means of uh, a medium of exchange. So best mm -hmm. of both worlds and definitely something that can uh, boost a lot of the uh, e economies in the region that are facing some problems.